Hello students, welcome back to the third video of this playlist. So in this video, uh, we will be solving question number three from the most recent past paper of Statistics 1, which is the October 2024 S1 paper. So let's see uh, what's the question number three from this paper is about. So this is question number three you can see on the screen. So let's get started with the third question of October 2024 S1 paper. Okay. <clears throat> so question number three says a group of 200 adults were asked whether they read cooking ma magazines, travel magazines, or what? Sport magazines. Okay. So their replies showed that. Okay. What uh, what uh, are their replies? 29 read only cooking ma magazines. Okay. 29 read only cooking magazines. Okay. 33 read only travel magazines. Okay. 42 read only sport magazines. Okay. 17 read cooking magazines and what? Sport magazines, but not what? Travel magazines. Okay. 11 read travel magazines and sport magazines, but not cooking magazines. Okay. 22 read cooking magazines and travel magazines, but not sport magazines. And at last, 32 do not read cooking magazines, travel magazines, or sport magazines. That means 32 of them doesn't read any of any of the magazines. Fine? Okay. So, part A is asking here to use this information to complete the Venn diagram on page number 11. Okay. So, on the next page, there is a Venn diagram given. So, we need to complete this Venn diagram. That's what part A is asking okay so 29 at first 29 read what only cooking magazines okay that means 29 will be here okay what's next 33 read only travel magazines so only mag th travel magazines it's what 33 and then 42 read only sport magazines okay 42 is what only sport magazines okay so Next is what? 17 read cooking magazines and sport magazines but not travel magazines. So 17 will be in the intersection of uh, cooking and sport. Intersection of cooking and sport but not travel. Okay? This is how much? This is basically 17. Right? 17. Okay. So uh, 17 read cooking magazines and sport magazines but not travel. Okay. So, 11 read travel magazines and sport magazines but not cooking magazines. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Travel and sport. Travel and sport. It is basically 11. Travel and sport not cooking. This is what? 11. Okay. And then, tw 22 read cooking magazines and travel magazines but not what? Sport magazines. Okay. Cooking, travel. Okay. 22 read what? Cooking, travel. Cooking, travel, but not sport. This is what? 22. Okay? And at last, 32 do not read cooking. 32 is none of these. Right? So, 32 would be outside all of the circles. Now, you should add them up and see whether it gives a what? Uh, 200 or not. So, 29 plus 22 plus 33 plus 17 plus 11 plus what 74 so that would give you 186 that means what all of the three magazines is read by how many 200 minus 186 that would give you 14 okay and the total is how much total is what 200 okay and that's the complete venn diagram you can see and that's what Part A of question number 3 has asked for. Fine. Okay. Next is part B. In part B, the question says one of these adults was chosen at random. So part B1 is asking to find the probability that this adult reads cooking magazines and travel magazines and what? Sport magazines. That means we need to find out the probability that this picked up adult reads what all of the three magazines so this basically this would be what the intersection of what all the three circles 
this is what this is nothing but 14 right so basically what we can say here the probability that for part b okay this was one this was for part a okay and now this is part b what one so probability of cooking traveling spot right cooking intersection traveling intersection spot that would be what the number of uh, adults we got here it's what 14 who reads all the all these three so 14 out of how much the total number of what data which is 200 the total number of adults which is 200 so this prob probability is what 14 over 200 so 14 over 200 is the probability that the picked the chosen adult reads all the three magazines that's it that's the part answer for part b one fine okay next is part b2 in part b2 they uh, the question is asking to find the probability that this adult does not read cooking magazines that means we will consider if you see the venn diagram we will consider the part of the venn diagram that is without cooking right does not read what cooking magazines okay so we will just ignore the circle cooking okay so what will be there 33 11 42 and 32 so this probability would be what this is basically what pro probability of or part uh, 2 okay let me raise it part 2 probability of what cooking does not read cooking right so c is prime c not okay so this is what total number of adults it is a 200 out of 200 how many does not reach that uh, does not read uh, cooking that is 33 plus 11 plus 42 okay so 33 plus 11 plus 42 plus 32 right all the numbers without the numbers that lies in the circle of c okay so you will get what uh, 33 plus 11 plus 74 isn't it over 200 so 118 over 200 118 over what 200 okay that's basically the what probability that a, an adult does not the chosen adult does not read what cooking magazines fine okay next is part c in part c uh, the question is asking given that this adult okay given that this adult reads travel magazines okay so since the question it's the part c is starting with what given that that means this is what a conditional probability isn't it Condi this is basically the condition right this is the condition the condition is that the chosen adult it uh, the chosen adult reads travel magazines okay so out of the adults who reads travel magazines in part c we need to find out the probability that the chosen adult also reads sport magazines the condition is the adult reads travel magazines so out of the travel magazines we need to find out the probability that this student also reads what sport magazines okay so this would be if i represent it here for part c that would be probability of what uh, the condition is travel magazine okay so sport magazine given t s given t out of t like how many students uh, how many adults read sport magazines this would be what definitely we know that for conditional probability the condition will all will be always in the denominator so probability of t will be in the denominator and in the numerator what it would be okay let's have a look in the numerator what we need to find out we need to find out the probability that out of the adults who read travel magazines what's the probability of what of the adults reading sport magazines right so if i mark the travel magazines this is basically what the travel magazines 
right this is the travel magazines isn't it so out of that travel magazines how many uh, sport magazines readers readers are there this is just the intersection part right this is just intersection part okay so this part the part that is marked green, marked green this part of adults only what reads both travel and sport okay so out of the travel readers travel magazine readers this part the green mark part only reads what both sport and travel okay so out of the travel uh, magazine readers we got the green part as the what reader of both sport and travel right that means the part of sport is within the travel magazine readers in only the green marked park part right so green mark marked part is what it is intersection so this is intersection part so probability of t intersection s is there okay so this would be what the green marked par uh, part has what uh, it is 14 plus 11 right it is 14 plus 11 so that would be 14 plus what 11 divide what in the denominator the total circle of t travel 22 plus 33 plus 14 plus 11 okay so 22 plus 33 22 plus 33 plus 14 plus what 11 okay so that would give us the probability that is 25 divide what 33 plus 22 this is what uh, 55 55 plus 25 this is basically 80 so 25 over 80 that's the probability of a student reading sport magazine given that this this adult also reads what travel magazine and that's what part c of question number three has asked for fine 